Hi, this is Maggie. I wanted to do a compatibility chart with uh, Sam Smith and Brandon Flynn. They just broke up and I'm, um, yeah, you know, so I just wanted to check it out. I, I really do appreciate Sam Smith and Brandon Flynn was an actor in 13 Reasons Why. The movie was such a downer on Netflix that I stopped watching it. It was really a downer movie, but um, yeah, so yeah, they were together nine months and just broke up. And um, so I wanted to. I'm looking at a synastry chart. I really don't have a birth time on either one of them. Um, so you know, the house system may be off. So I pretty much had to put noon for both of them. So, but still, they have the planets where they have them. Um, <coughs> so, Sam Smith will be on the outside wheel, Sinistry wheel. And I've already done a chart on him. I just adore his music. Uh, so he's got everything in Taurus to give him that beautiful instrument of a voice. And I'm going to try, I already sound biased. I'm going to try not to. Uh, so I was just looking for a connection, and so anyway, his, his uh, Brandon Flynn was born October 11, 1993 in Miami, Florida, U.S., and Sam Smith was born May 19, 1992, and I had to put 12 p.m. to in England, so I, I think the primary attraction was the Scorpio attraction. Um, so he, you know, his partner had, Brandon had Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio, Mercury, planet of communication, and Mars, the ruler of Scorpio also. All in Scorpio. So, you know, he was attracted to that. I mean, I'm sure they had a very, very passionate, dynamic relationship. Um, you know, and the, the drive and the passion were all there. The communication was very, very good. Um, yeah, so, you know, of course, they, we both have Pluto and Scorpio because that's generational. So, you know, but Sam's, Sam's Miss Pluto is almost on his Pluto. And the fact that it's in Scorpio, it's so it still is connecting with with Brandon's Pluto, Mercury, and Mars. You know, Mars is both Mars and Pluto give you a very, very strong sex drive and passion and ambition. And, um, so this is in the eleventh house of friendship, but I really don't know what house it's in because, unless I have the true, accurate birth time. So that's the main connection I see with these two. They did break up and, you know, Sam just has, <coughs> excuse me, everything in Taurus. In the fifth house of love, you know, um, he has Sun, Venus, what you like, and Mercury, and the big heaven all in Taurus. That was his career. I mean, his voice, his instrument. So love is just means so much to him. And this chart I'm looking at, they're opposed to everything in Scorpio that his partner had. So uh, there is an opposition. They're both very fixed signs, very fixed. Uh, you know, Scorpio's fixed water, and Taurus is fixed earth. So. Um, yeah, I believe his partner was spotted in a club with another, another with someone else, and so um, it was probably what caused the split. And you know, I, I feel bad for them. Well, for for Sam, anyway, I, I do feel bad for him. Um, yeah. So another connection, of course. Well, they they both have Uranus and. Neptune in Capricorn, but that's generational too. Capricorn and they're both 
you know, succeeding in their careers. Uh, I don't believe that, that I, I'm really not dissing this guy, I love Brandon, but I really don't believe he's nearly at the level that Sam Smith is in his career. I think he's just kind of starting out, you know, he's like 24. Um, yeah, I think they are close in age. They are close in age, you know. I think they're like a year apart. <coughs> um, so, Sam's North Node and the Moon are in the first house. Um, that's, you know, that's, I'm just looking where the planets meet. Uh, I don't see anything that really jumps out at me, you know. I'm sorry, Sam. You know, I just hate to see your heart broken. And some of your best songs come out of this. Uh, but it's sad because, you know, that, that was, you know, he's saying that's the happiest he's ever been. But I believe it's the opposition that, that broke them up. Uh, the first role that Brandon Flynn starred in as a child star, I think he was like 10 years old, was a role in Peter Pan. <laughs> so in this, you know, the, it is the Peter Pan syndrome, you know, when you, you know, aren't emotionally available. But, but they were together for a whole nine months. So that's a long time. You know, that's a long time. Um, he played Mr. Smee in Peter Pan, so, um, and they're both young, you know, they're both very young, but, I, you know, I really, I guess I'm looking at his, his, all his Scorpio stuff, you know, the Mercury in Scorpio, Mercury, Mars, um, uh, could make him changeable or just craving excitement and looking elsewhere. Um, it's Jupiter, Sam's Jupiter is on his Chiron, so that's uh, and Sam's ascendant is on his moon, so that's a connection in Leo. That's a that's a love connection. Yeah. Um, it's a very strong love connection that they had. And maybe they'll get back together, who knows? Who knows? Because there is definitely passion in this, in this relationship. Uh, yeah. And, you know, Leo rules the heart, so his mood, Brandon's mood in Leo. You know, make him a, make him a showman. Um, yeah, and Sam's a senate in Leo. Uh, and it, it does rule the heart. It rules the creative art. So, you know, it's possible these two could get back together. Especially when it's a recent breakup. It's only been like June. So, you know, give it a minute. And they're both so young. Yeah, you know. But it's just a... I love Sam Smith's music, and his music is so deep. And, um, yeah, his music is very, very, very deep. So, looking around the wheel, of course, you know, Saturn, Saturn, that's generational with them. Um, Other than the moon ascended and all that Scorpio stuff, that is the they have such a very strong sexual attraction, magnetic attraction. You know, Sam, Sam was just definitely pulled into this. Um, it's going to take some time to get over it, especially his Venus. You know, his Venus and the opposition, the opposition, this opposites attract. So that's very compelling. So. That is a lot of the dynamic that, you know, the sexual te tension, not tension, but, you know, that, that makes for an attraction that these two were pulled into each other. Um, yeah, so and that would be Sam's mid-heaven, 
Mercury, planet of communication, Venus, what he likes, you know, he really likes this guy, loves this guy, and, uh, and his son. But they're all in, in opposition to all this stuff in Scorpio. So it makes for a very, very powerful attraction. But the Scorpio looks like uh, there's a Peter Pan and just kind of flew away. So maybe he'll fly back into Sam's life with us. <laughs> so and it sounds like TMZ or something. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, you know, I don't, other than, just don't see really, really, I see powerful, strong attraction. Um, I see more stability in Sam's chart, you know, wanting to commitment, wanting to make it work than in, in the Scorpio's chart. Also, I should mention that, that he, uh, Brandon Flynn, is a, is a Libra. You know, Libras frequently have very good looks. Uh, and he has Sun conjunct Jupiter, so that's good fortune in his career. And relationships are everything to Libra. So personal, it would give him good fortune and good luck. It would just make him charming in personal relationships. So very attractive in personal relationships. So, you know, he, that's the attraction as well. You know, um, yeah, they could be extremely charming, extremely charming. So anyway, that, that's about enough. Uh, I wish them both all, all the luck, and it takes time to heal. And, uh, you know, a lot of times there is a rebound. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you.